So now in this video we're going to look at another pulse circuit. I made one a, a bit ago uh, with the 555. But in case you can see when I press the button, um, of course I can give stray signals. We got a little bit of glow right there. You'd have to address that if that's a problem. But in any case, there you can see. I pressed the button and uh, that was switch bounce right there. We got a, another one right there. Um, but uh, when I press the button, and it's doing pretty good today, we get a solid connection. Again, I moved a little bit so we had bounce. So I briefly lost connection but uh, reconnected it. It wasn't as bright so we probably didn't uh, get the capacitor to discharge as much as uh, we wanted to. Um, but in case, we got that pulse right there when I press the button and hold the button. Let's start off with the, uh, you know, uh, resting state right here. We have a capacitor, it's gonna be discharged. You can see we got negative there and negative there. High value uh, resistors there, but this is a low value capacitor. So we cannot uh, uh, switch infinitely fast. We'd have to adjust uh, values here to go faster than what we can with this. But in any case, this is about half of a microfarad, 0.47 microfarad. That's my highest value where it is not uh, polarized, um, but um, anything higher than this is polarized. But that probably doesn't matter here. But in any case, it's about half of a microfarad. There's the 100K right there uh, coming down to ground. 100K going to ground, but they're on opposite side of the capacitor right there. So if it has any charge, it will completely discharge. Now we get that flash. We press the button. That's the uh, main thing right there. Press the button. Now we got uh, positive there. Hardly any current's going to like trickle down here. But uh, in any case, it's going to uh, come to the capacitor there. The other side of the capacitor there, headed to ground. So current's gonna flow. This is like a diode though, um, but current's gonna flow once this side gets more positive than that side by about 0.5 to 0.7 volts approximately. Current's gonna flow, but briefly, capacitor's gonna charge. That side's gonna get more positive, that side's gonna get more negative right there. It's gonna build up a charge, and uh, once it equalizes to uh, the supply voltage minus the diode drop, then it's not gonna flow, have uh, current flow anymore right there. So that's why we get a pulse we get uh, that brief amount of current. So it's a low amount of current, uh, 10K resistor. We're using a transistor right here. It just needs a little bit of base two emitter current. It's gonna allow probably about 200 times as much current to flow from collector to emitter. Um, thus we have a load here that's gonna be what actually sets the current at uh, that point. And uh, so red LED protected by 220 volts from five volts right there. And uh, we see our flash. So I'm using the 2N3904, any uh, PN, uh, NPN I mean, bipolar junction transistor should work. Uh, but we got the emitter base collector there. It might have a different pin layout if it has a different part number. So there you can see the flash. And I'm not sure how fast I can go with the flash. It looks like uh, probably as fast as I can press the button. But if I just kind of uh, uh, lose connection briefly right there, I'm having trouble getting switch bounce right now. It's working out pretty well. Um, then you might see like a, a quick double flash, but the second one uh, not as bright because switch bounce is a really uh, rapid um, uh, Occurring thing right there. You just kind of briefly lose connection and it remakes uh, connection um, Usually it's a uh, pretty brief uh, So yeah, I'm using a hundred thousand ohm resistors to the uh, negative supply. I already talked about the capacitor value That's about half of a microfarad right there again microfarad is a very small uh, value but yeah, these are 100,000 ohm resistors. You can see the orange band. That's kind of backwards right there. But uh, one zero zero, and then three more zeros. Same with this one, one zero zero, and then three more zeros. Orange for three more zeros. Brown, the uh, tolerance uh, band, which is actually on that side over there, that's 1% higher or lower. It's not gonna be exactly 100,000. Could be a little bit higher or lower. And of course, we have the 10,000 ohm resistor right there. Again, uh, brown, black, black, 100 plus, uh, uh, red right there, which means times a hundred or you can think of two more zeros since red is two That's what I like to do. Orange is three three more zeros Then we have 220 uh, Red red two two and then uh, black zero and then black for no more zeros and I lost my 220 ohm resistors But uh, I still had a couple down on the board. I got uh, components uh, cluttered down there and uh, that helps out sometimes. So direct connection, positive supply there. So we can get our current path again. Capacitors are, they will pass AC. Current can keep changing, which is what we actually have going on when I keep pressing the button. Capacitor charges and discharges. Current, as far as the capacitor is concerned, is going in opposite directions. 
right there. Every time you see the LED flash and release the button, currents go in an opposite direction. It cannot keep going in the same direction, right there. And that's what we're taking advantage of, right there. That property of uh, capacitors, basic property. So, in any case, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. And check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.